What chemicals are in zero calorie drinks? I don't know. Sorry. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. And I'm his wife, Jenna. Before we jump into the video, do me a flavor. A flavor? Yeah. Hit the subscribe button below. Also hit the notification bell, that way every time we put out a video, you're gonna know about it. So the topic of this video is kind of close to my heart, our hearts really. We've been drinking zero calorie drinks for a few years now. Mm -hmm. Tried different things and I've joked even on previous videos before that, you know, they're probably riddled with cancer. And the question is, what's really in there? Because zero calorie doesn't really mean healthy. So this is a little bit of homework for me for this one and for you. Before we get going, I'm gonna leave links in the description below about where we found all this information so you can go look at it yourself. So let's dive into it. What are the chemicals? We're gonna hit you with the top four in this video. Citric and malic acid, natural flavors. What does that mean? Potassium benzoate and sucralose. That's a big one. Let's start with malic and citric acid. They're basically the same thing. They are considered man-made, they're antioxidants, and they're derived from unripe fruits. It's like from apparently from the rind of the fruit, like, and especially from an apple, the rind of the apple, it gives the the flavor or that that bitter taste that you taste in the drink. The next one drives me nuts. The next one is natural flavors. Basically, anything that comes from fruit, vegetables, or an animal, they can call it natural flavors, but it's highly, highly processed. It's basically the same thing as an artificial flavor, which sucks. The next one is potassium benzoate. So it's a man-made substance added to the beverage to ensure freshness and prevent mold. It's known to cause allergic reactions and also when mixed with ascorbic acid. Is ascorbic? it ascorbic? I think it's ascorbic. As I know it's ascorbic acid. Ascorbic, ascorbic, one or the other. When mixed with ascorbic acid, it turns into benzene, mm. which is a known carcinogen. And it actually can damage DNA. So that's a biggie. And for the last one for this video. Sucralose. AKA Splenda. Everybody knows this one. It's a sugar substitute. It's known to be 400 to 700 times sweeter than regular table sugar. I did not realize that. Sucralose is of course man-made and non-caloric, and it's been said that if you cook with it or bake with it, it can become cancerous. Yikes. That's it for this video. If you wanna see part two, click here. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video. I really appreciate you, and thank you for being in this video. You don't have to be perfect at this artificial sweetener chemical thing. Let's try to be better than yesterday. Every day. All right, that was good. Give me some ending credits there. of this video. Dumb <laughs> that I don't want to talk about. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> no calorie, sugar free, no taste, terrible for you, diet drinks. Sucralose, it's <laughs> <laughs> Sucralose. <laughs> what are we even doing? I forget.